and welcome back to Terrain Fever, where we are looking out over the cozy town of Woodley. Cozy for now, but this will all change in the future. So, what do the local boys have, uh, well, you know, scheduled for Woodley? I will tell you in a moment, but first I will quickly update you with what I've been up to uh, in between these videos because as you can see we have uh, breached the magic 100 million uh, euro dollar bucks uh, oh wait <laughs> game dollar bucks <laughs> uh, barrier yeah we've breached it and that is purely because we are just making massive profits on everything and I will admit uh, I have had a slight hand in that uh, because before I started recording what I basically did was all right you know let's see which of the um, city traffic you know the tram lines the bus lines which of those stations actually have a lot of passengers waiting and I was thinking like well you know excuse me <coughs> Right, and back. That was the remnants of my cult uh, acting up again. No, but I was thinking, uh, in any way, uh, that like, well, you know, if there's passengers waiting there, and there was like more than one of those dudes waiting there, I was like, well, you know, those are just waiting, and they could have been brought to the station, which could increase our uh, profits even further, because... I was looking at the stations, I was seeing like, uh, 28, 30, now that's all... Well, I guess kind of okay, nothing to worry about really. But then I saw a lot of passengers waiting in the cities and I was like, all right, I guess I'll just need to improve the capacity here. So I did, and then this happened. It seems to work counterproductive, but uh, whatever, you know. In the end, it all means more passengers. Another thing I have done is the uh, Kromer, no wait, that's the wrong line, if there's passengers. Yeah, the Tolal Cromer uh, line. I have matured that quite a bit because right now we have, I think it's five of those fancy combinated red CLE24 red arrow uh, things uh, working together to uh, make this line happen. And I'm actually quite curious because apparently, well, we have one train more. But this is like a good two minutes, and this is slightly under three minutes. Though they do have more speed, they accelerate slower. So all in all, it is more or less about equal. <laughs> Though those uh, red arrow trains, they can carry 66 passengers. Which in my book kind of translates to, we won't ever need to upgrade that again in the near future. So, yeah, there you have it. Now, the towns have been developing like crazy. I've been keeping an eye on, like, how the production things were going. So far, I haven't really seen any, uh, well, dire issues that we need to address. Though, there are a few that I need to keep an eye on because they'll most likely need upgrading in the near future, but not right now. So, yeah, there we are. There we have it. I've been quite busy, as you can see, and um, in fact, you know, whilst I was setting everything up, I also took a look at what we were going to do next, because, <laughs> excuse me there, you know, um, <clears throat> what we were going to do next, well, seeing how we have this absolute crazy amount of cash, and I don't even really know what to do with it, so far, we've been taking the easy routes, the flatlands, you know, the nice and close connectables, and why don't we make it a little bit more difficult for ourselves and take a look at this hardest region that we have in our map. Now, over here, we can clearly see that this small circle route with only five towns on it is much, much more profitable than any of the regular lines combined. Uh, you might think like, wait, how's that possible with only like uh, a minus million profit? Well, <laughs> that line has just started. I mean, the last train hasn't even reached its second station ever. So in good time, that will go up. I hope to this amount of, uh, <laughs> of profits, 
not quite sure. We'll have to see how it plays out. But so far, I know that it is much more profitable to have these circular air routes. It just feels that way. So what we're going to do is instead of having a five town circle route thing, how about we have Woodley as the base of the second circular thing going like this or perhaps going like this. And then to Morley, Midhurst, Beaudley. <laughs> and then back. Actually, I mean, if I'm honest, North P Patherton is just so in the way, basically. Ideally, I'd go from Woodley to Meltham, to Sitmouth, to Midhurst, to Beaudley, to Morley, to Woodley. Perhaps even uh, visit Cromer, you know, so we would go like this. And then we, well, we'd basically have to build double tracks because I don't feel like merging them. Uh, so that would be kind of cool. That would be like our first proper four lane railways, you know. Then we, then we would be going big, man. Uh, but yeah, so that's the plan, at least. Um, is that going to be bonkers, crazy, difficult? Yes, it is. Look at this. Look at if I turn on the control lines. Yikes. <laughs> We're gonna spend some money, man. That's just crazy. I think, though, before we, uh, you know, start laying out all the tracks and whatnot, we should start off easy by just hooking up Woodley to Meltham, I think. Uh, that should be a rather easy affair as we have an iron ore mine over here, we have coal and the goods production. So if we place like a station over here or something, then we should be able to transfer the coal by road, the iron ore by, uh, by rail, and then deliver the goods uh, by rail as well. Now I do wonder if we Man, you know, what's really bugging me is that I don't know what to do with North Petherton. Let's take a look at the land use over here. So we know that the residential area is up here. Ideally, I'd also want the station for the uh, passengers to also be over there. But look at, look at this mishmash of roads that we have. I think, realistically speaking, Speaking, the only proper way to get our roads or to get our station in here even is probably Wow, how are we how are we ever going to do that? Huh, I mean all these roads man, and that's I mean if I say nightmare, this is the understatement of the year. Really, this is like complex stuff, man. I mean, ideally, I'd get that station over here. I guess we just have to go with that then, you know, put it over here. Have the tracks curve like this. This road crossing though, there would need to be a curve that goes like this. Right, I guess we could figure something out that goes up the slope here. And then, or perhaps pass the jun, you know, have a junction over here. I mean, that one would be easy, and then there would be a hard curve over here. Or we build the station over here, just in the, as an extension, and go really tight around the city, effectively blocking it off from any development over here. But I don't really know if we should want to do that. That's. I mean, Meltham. If we also go to the outside over here, that pretty much leave, you know that means that we have to go to Sitmouth first. But I don't think we have any other choice, really. I mean, this is the most ideal site. It's also the only site that I know of that we can safely get like the uh, you know, the station uh, suit proper. And then we don't, we haven't even talked about how we are ever going to get a good station. I guess we could build that over here and then perhaps use a bridge of sorts to go over the station and the road. Oh man, <laughs> this is going to be some crazy track building that we're going to have to do. Let me just ghost plan this out a little bit. 
Also, why is that open? Uh, that's better. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We need... I mean, from Meltham, I don't think we're gonna ever lay a track to much Wenlock. Nor are we ever gonna go to Tavistock, so Meltham only really needs a two-lane station. Realistically speaking. Well, it's not that big, actually. I mean, we can get away with this, can't we? I mean, just look at this. Can't I get... Nah. <laughs> I mean... Look at the costs over here, right? We can we can get this crazy expensive if we really want to. <laughs> there, how about a station like this, huh? Eight millions. <laughs> Let's see how expensive it can really get. It's not. I'm actually kind of surprised that it isn't much more expensive. To be honest. Oh no! Look, there we go. There we go. Nine million. I saw it over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crazy man. Yeah, things can get really out of hand over here. Look at this. How about, can we? 10 millions? Uh, yes, there we go. <laughs> no, I mean, more serious, you know, I mean, this is all just... We need, we need to focus on what we need to do. I think the station over here actually has a future. And then... We'd probably want it to be... Let's see... Uh, yeah, no, I, th I think we can get this working, though we need to lay the tracks, you know, of both the good station and the passenger uh, stations all at the same time. So why don't we get to that point, right? Why don't we start building said tracks?
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that we have built a hell of a lot of track. But <laughs> if we look at our money though, what did it cost us? Yeah, maybe 3 million? <laughs> I mean, what is 3 million for a track that I must admit isn't even that bad? I mean, sure, there are a few sharp curves, and yes, we've had to build this bridge. But other than that, it actually flows remarkably well with the terrain. I mean, granted, where was it now? Yeah, there was this uh, bit that's a little bit, I don't know. I mean, sure, this happens in real life too, you know, elevated tracks, but <laughs> yeah. In hindsight, perhaps uh, we should have built a bridge over here, you know. But that's all hindsight stuff. I mean, we've built it, you know, the connection is there. So, now, it is time for us to start setting up stuff over here. Uh, the question is, what are we gonna do first? My hunch is that we're gonna do the passengers first. So let's take an another look at Meltham to see what the layout is exactly. And when I zoom out a little bit uh, from it, basically what I can see is that we have a very nice, <coughs> excuse me there, a very nice outer loop route. Uh, actually like this. It's only one route really, uh, but it still covers quite a lot of the uh, center of the town. So I think that's the most profitable uh, way for us to go. So uh, yeah, let's get that sorted, shall we? All right, and that is Meltham 1 <coughs> all sorted. Yes, yes. Uh, I think that... Um, I don't really know how big is Meltham. Meltham isn't actually that small. I mean, 300, looking where it came from, there's still towns that are relatively smaller. I'm looking at you, much Wenlock. Well, actually, after its growth, you know, after we hooked it up, only then did it start to come close to the size of... Uh, Meltham. So Meltham, I consider to be a town with a lot of uh, a lot a lot of potential. Let's put it like that. Now we have the uh, the well, you know, the inner city transport in place. Uh, how about we set up the first part of the continuous circle train line that is going to be. Well, involving this huge mountainous area. Um, yeah, let's get that sorted. Now, the question is, of course, what are we going to use for it? Because this is gonna go through very hillous terrain. Um, quite, not quite sure about using these bullet trains over here. In fact, I'm more inclined to actually use these. Uh, excuse me. Uh, because they come from Switzerland, and that's, I mean, this is Switzerland's home turf here, you know, this terrain and impossible railroad tracks. We could also go for this, if I'm honest, I am considering it, you know, it, how cool would it be to have a new line, splurge some money on it. I mean, it's not like the rest of our network isn't profitable enough to actually uh, do that, but I mean, it's just that, uh, what's the point of having all that speed? This is too weak though. I mean, look at the tractive effort. It's more than double and it's faster. And it has a lot more horsepower. I don't know really. In the end, I think we're just gonna go. It's the speed, man. I don't want the speed. It's just that the hills. Uh, what are we supposed to do over here? I don't know. I'm really tempted to actually go with this shiny new bullet train, you know. 
Really, really tempted to do so. Really, really tempted to do so. Uh, no, my senses are winning it for me. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with uh, this one. And once we get like a slightly more powerful uh, variant of this, excuse me, uh, then we are going to replace it and, well, I know. All right, fine, we're gonna go with this. <laughs> Screw it, we don't even have it yet. So I also kind of want to see it in action. So that's another reason uh, why <laughs> we're gonna run this, even though this is going to be a guaranteed loss on our part. I can already guarantee you this, you know, it is going to be a loss on our part. But, all right, we'll see how it goes uh, for now though. Uh, I guess one train will do. The moment we expand this line, though, to sit mouth, then we're gonna have to add two more trains to this. But for now, this one will do. Uh, actually, it's really nice of me building the train, yet we don't even have the line yet. <laughs> so let's get that sorted first, shall we? Uh, let's see. We need to get ourselves a new line, which we are going to call... Uh, Meltham Woodley. Or was it Woodley without? I don't even know. We'll see it soon enough. No, I've I did type it right. Great. Okay, so load if available, and then where the train was over here, if I'm not mistaken. Meltham Woodley. There we have it. Right now, of course, I am very very excited to see this. Ultra super fast train in action, so let us see. How does it sound? Wow. Look at it being aerodynamic and all and look at it look at the flat hat that it had. Or that it has. Wow! And look at the speed that it's already accelerating with. We're gonna make a massive loss on this. I mean, I am aware of this. This is not the smartest choice, but man, I just wanna have at least one line running these trains. The rest of our lines are making plenty of profit. I want to see some new technology. You know, we've been working, oh, look at the speed, man. I mean, that red arrow can only dream of this kind of stuff. No, but you know, we have we have so much money. We've worked hard to get a great advantage. I think we earn to splurge some money on inefficiency in order to have the latest gadgets. I mean, just look at it, man. Just look at the cloud of, of smoke just growing longer and longer. Look at it go. Look, look at those wheel things go, man. Well, game. And now it's actually going at pretty much top speed already for the uh, wagons, you know, because they can only go at 120 kilometers an hour. So, I mean, there's no point in having this, you know, <laughs> but it's just cool, man. We have the fastest train available. Man, do I love it. Right, okay, so um, that's that sorted, but we are not there yet. What we also need is... Oh, wow. <laughs> and look at this man, we're just unleashing uh, all the vehicles over here. All got the same advertisement as well. Which is quite odd, uh, I'll admit. Wow, 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 wow. I cannot imagine that we have been making this much progress this quick. I do wonder though, over here... Uh, just look at the traffic as well, man. I mean, this town is coming to life. Look at it. There's vehicles. There's even actual, like, it's busy over here. We don't even have traffic lights. I mean, accidents could happen at any moment. Wow, did some of the vehicles just disappear? That's a little bit concerning, if you ask me, but all right. <laughs> No, but look at look at the traffic that we have over here, man. I mean, this is like real busy road here. You know? We got some kind of interstate thing going. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, what are you complaining about? Something in Meltham. Oh, yeah, of course. It is our good station, which we haven't even utilized yet. 
Sure, game. Don't, I mean, don't fret it. I'll take care of that. It's just that, you know, I was just enjoying the view of the scenery. I mean, this game is beautiful. Let us enjoy it. Uh, right. Uh, okay. You know, maybe the game does have a point. We kind of do need to hook up the goods line. Uh, we've done so much, I feel, already. And look at this train. Look at it going fast over here. Now, there is one thing I do want to check. See, this, this curve over here is the longer section of... Yeah, of, of the track. So, I wonder, do you... You do get pretty close to the 120 kilometer barrier, that is. I mean, that is imposed by these wagons, so I guess this is kind of top speed for you. Not bad, how's the line doing? Is that already running a profit or is it still at a big loss? Well, it isn't exactly at a profit yet, but I'd say that it's uh, starting to rack a profit pretty, pretty quickly. So, well, there we have it then, you know, we, we've been, we're doing quite all right there right now. And we're going to hook up this goods line and a lot of other stuff next time when we play more Train Fever.